I thought it'd be fun to Google translate Fortnite skins into other languages and translate it back into English. I'm using a program that does this for me 100 times, and then we'll see what crazy words come out of it and then build it in Fortnite. I got this idea from some amazing Minecraft YouTubers, and now I'm doing it in the game I love. Okay, for our first skin, let's just do Peely. He's my main, so we got to. So we're going to translate this 100 times and see what comes up. We just got to wait. Concluded? What an interesting word. Hmm. Okay, the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of concluded is like an ending or a big end. Now, I feel like I just built an earth in my back rooms map. I'm going to build another one, but this time, instead of having just an entire planet that's nice and put together, we're going to end it. Okay, so we got our uh, globe here. Voodoo Peely would turn into the end of the world here. Okay, I'm trying to do North and South America here. It's not really working out great, but it is what it is, guys. Okay, we got our basic earth here. It's kind of scuffed. But I want to make like a crack running through it, and it's like exploding, that kind of thing. I'm going to use these little glowing blocks to simulate like lava cracking through the crust of the earth. I don't know how this is going to look, guys. This could look really bad. Oh, okay, guys. That's looking pretty good. I need something bigger, though. Like, I was starting to have like the world break up here, but it's just not looking correct. Maybe if I bring in a beacon, could be cool. And like have it shooting out of this area that could blend it better. Oh, guys, that looks pretty awesome. The angle's not great, but I really like the look here. Oh, man, that is sweet. It's got to have a few more of these like, coming out of the planet, and I think that will look awesome. Yeah, that's looking so cool. Is that a VFX spawner here with some floating space rocks? Gotta throw in a barrier device down here. Throw in some stars. And there you have it! Peely here translates into the conclusion. I certainly didn't expect to build this when I put in Peely. Okay, next let's do a rare skin. Good old Renegade Raider. Let's run the translation and reject. Oh no, Renegade Raider. What can we do with the word reject? Okay, I got an idea. So I instantly think of like a dating show. We're gonna build a little stage here. This isn't just gonna be any stage. This is gonna be a high-tech dating show that you've never seen before. Gotta make the set look really good. All right, so this is the girl side. And over here on the contestant side, we've got the name of the show. It's called Reject. And in this dating show, it's not about who you choose to date. It's about who you reject. And we got Jonesy here and the Sea Wolf trying to not get rejected by Fortune. I didn't have Renegade Raider, so it is what it is. Now, this isn't just any stage. You'll notice, what is this down here? When they get rejected, they fall to their death. Let me just finish this and I'll show you. Welcome to the Fortnite dating show, Reject! In this dating show, we have the lovely Fortune deciding which one of our contestants here to reject. What is the question you have for our contestants? How many wins in Fortnite do you have? I play just for fun. I don't have any wins. I have over 1,000 wins. Fortune, who will you reject? Well, I love to have fun just like anyone, but I need a man who's gonna bring in the dough. Sorry, Jonesy! Oh, Jonesy, I'm sorry, but you're today's reject. Oh! <laughs> Did you see him fall down there? That was crazy. This is so dumb. Okay, who should we do next? How about turtle team leader? This is a longer phrase, so I'm curious what this comes up with. Management team? Uh... Okay, I'm thinking for this, we build Michael Scott's office. We gotta find the right walls for this. Found a nice carpet. You know, I didn't really find a good wall, but I found this good piece here that could be used as a really good wall because the walls in Michael's office have this little, like, division in it. So this kind of ends up being perfect. Problem with these custom walls, though, is that there's not a really good way to do a window. There's not really good windows for offices. Uh, I guess that means I have to do something custom. Sometimes I just want things to be built for me. I don't want to have to build them myself. All right, I got the frame of this window worked out. I just got to do these blinds. I think I figured out a good shape for it. All right. Hey, that's not terrible. I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Now I can just copy it and put the other window down over here where it is. And boom, we got the windows taken care of. All right, now we got to furnish this place. This isn't going to be exact because we don't have the exact props to fit in here, but we'll get it close. Oh, man, finding stuff for Michael's desk. This is not easy. It's a surprising lack of props that we actually have access to. All right, this is going to have to be it. It's not perfect. His desk is a little too light. It should be much darker. We don't have a lot of desk options in creative. Of course, we got the custom windows, which I already showed you. We got a bush in the corner. It should be like an American flag back here, but uh, we don't have that. It's really his desk here with his computer screen. You can see I've got some uh, like crazy prop under here for the monitor. Why don't we have any monitors in creative mode? We don't have any like good office chairs that are dark.
art. Got some agency files here, because, you know, Michael works for the agency. A custom phone with no buttons and a keyboard with no buttons. Why don't we have keyboards? This is what I'm talking about. We just don't have a lot of, like, actual useful props in creative mode. We just have a few things here and there. But Cuddle Team Leader is now the office. Michael Scott would be proud. I happen to ask on Twitter what they think is the most popular skin in Fortnite, and there was a lot of opinions on here. There's one skin that kept popping up in pretty much every response, and that's Aura. So let's see what Google Translate does. Going through a hundred different languages, and what do we get? Hello Kitty? How did Aura turn into Hello Kitty? <laughs> All right. Well, we don't really have to think very hard about this one. I mean, I just Googled some images of Hello Kitty. So I think we're just going to make this. I can honestly say when I started doing this today that I did not imagine I would be making Hello Kitty in Fortnite. But my sculpting skills are going to come into good use right now. Actually, guys, I used to do some work with Hello Kitty. Well, not actual Hello Kitty, the brand, but it was a video game company that was making a mobile Hello Kitty game. There's a small part of me that is appreciative to Hello Kitty for helping pay the bills for a little while. And this is honestly one of the last things I ever thought I'd build in creative. Like, I never thought I would build Hello Kitty in a short or in a video. But here we are, thanks to Google Translate. Okay, I think I got the head pretty good. Let's do the body now. Oh, guys, I do not know about this body. I mean, I guess it's fine. I'm a huge Hello Kitty fan, so I'm not gonna be, like, upset this doesn't turn out. Look at Hello Kitty's booty over here, though. Woo! Looking good from the front, but from the back, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's put some hands on her. And there you go. It's Hello Kitty in Fortnite. Not my best sculpture ever, but hey, it'll do from Google Translate. Okay, now let's do an integral skin in the game. Jonesy, he's key to the storyline. We don't know where he's at right now, that's for sure. Maybe Google Translate knows where he's at. Give us an update in the storyline. A thief? What? Is Google Translate telling us that Jonesy's a thief? What is he stealing? Maybe what's happening here is Jonesy's trying to steal the zero point. We're gonna make a replica of the zero point. I'm gonna try and do a little better here. I'm gonna use the ring galleries and do a circle trick with this. I feel like primitive shapes just don't quite cut it. Epic, if you're watching this, please, for the love, give us the zero point prefabs and galleries. Okay, I've been messing around with some VFX. We're gonna put this in the middle of this here and see if this looks good. Uh, that's okay. Maybe I have to make it a little bit bigger. Let's see. I mean, that's actually kind of cool. Like for us, we got the character device here with Jonesy in it. Let's uh, get him a good pose though. Ah, uh, there we go. The leap. Gotta put a barrier around all this so it looks good. Right there we go, guys. We got Jonesy the thief over here. I don't know what he's thieving. He's trying to steal the zero point. Okay, that was a nice easy build. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go to the oldest skin I have that I purchased. Skull Trooper. Oh man, I still love that skin. I got the purple one, guys. What will Google demand we build? Strong bone. Bones. I mean, that actually kind of makes sense. Trooper to strong, skull to bones. Strong bones it is. The strongest bones I can think of is Sans from Undertale. So I'm just gonna make a giant pixel art here of Mr. Bones himself. Cue the music and cue the speed bell. actually never once done in my life a pixel art, so it's kind of fun to do it. This thing is huge. It is fitting that Skull Trooper turned into Sans himself. So between Earth exploding, the Fortnite dating game, Michael Scott's office, Jonesy stealing the zero point, Hello Kitty, and Sans himself, I think my favorite build has to be the exploding planet. So let me know if you guys like this video. If I should do more like it, leave a comment below on what I should search on Google next.